Oh yeah, hello out there, all you YouTubers, Lord's Army today. I'm coming to you in God's living colors here today. Praise the Lord. This is the time we're going to spiritual warfare for Jesus' glory. There's a war going on. Spiritual battles the Lord and victory in Jesus. All you uh, street preachers out there, get off your blessed shots. Get on your feet and hit the streets and take it back for Jesus. You can preach about the weather, nobody don't care. You can preach about politics, nobody don't care. You can preach about sports, nobody don't care. But don't say the G, the J word. Don't say the J word, that's a Jesus. They don't want to hear it. They're getting a conviction, you're getting a persecution attack. But in Jesus' name, we have victory, victory in Jesus, victory in Jesus. This is the new song God has given me here. When the Lord's are me, gotta get up. You gotta get up early in the morning. You're not behind the plow. You're not digging a ditch. You'll never get rich. You're in the Lord's army now. Give Jesus the best spiritual battle cry. Give him the best yeah, uh, God uh, praise. God be the glory. Great things is there. Jesus, victory in Jesus. Victory, victory we have. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you all YouTubers today. Today is 9-11. Don't let us forget 10 years ago. Now Mayor Bloomberg, shame, shame on you Mayor Bloomberg. Shame, shame. What you did in New York City today, you censored the Christian preachers. They wanted to pray for the 9-11 uh, memorial today. You got them uh, black... Uh, uh, Lifted from New York City today, uh, Mayor uh, Blue Bloomberg, that was wrong. Now you know what God's judgment come on New York City with Hurricane Irene here. First time a hurricane hit New York City since 1938. Shame on you, Mayor Bloomberg. I pray that God will get a hook in your jaw and you see the light that you have to have the Christian people there. After 9-1, one disaster, the preachers that was ministering to the injured and, and praying for the dead people, and uh, it was bringing food and helping them, and your moment of silence is no good, Mayor Bloomberg, today. You silenced the God of Israel in New York City. You silenced Jesus, Savior, and Messiah in New York City, but today, I want all the people in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, uh, Pray with me today. In Pinkneyville, Illinois, we're not silenced. We have freedom of religion here in Pinkneyville, Illinois. Everybody come agree with me. Pray for the 911 memorial here. It may be New York City. Today they couldn't do it, but in Pinkneyville, Illinois, we have the freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Agree with me, YouTubers in the Lord's Army. Lord, we come to you today. Don't let us ever forget 911, the brave and courteous courageous people that died in the Twin Towers, the people that worked there in New York City, New York, the uh, firemen and the policemen, Lord, don't let us forget uh, Pennsylvania, the brave people that took the plane down, that saved the White House and they saved the Capitol there, that died, they didn't die in vain, they died a martyr's death. Uh, pray for the Pentagon, our brave soldiers, God bless America. But they didn't die in vain either. We remember them today. The 911 memorial, Lord. We're having a memorial service today. We lift them up to you today. Lord Jesus and their loved ones today in Pinkneyville, Illinois. Thank you for the 911 memorial service we're having here in Pinkneyville, Illinois. For your glory, give Jesus the best hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I got a... Uh, Update prophecy today. Some uh, new news from the throne room, from the portals of heaven. Here it is. <clears throat> that I give a prophecy about <clears throat> over two weeks ago about a prophecy on Washington, D.C. earthquake. That it was a judgment of God because President Obama's 1967 borders and the state of Israel is trying to make him go back to 
start the Palestinian state. They'll go against the Abraham blessing, divide the land. And about three days after I give the first prophecy, God give me this masterpiece. This has been the best uh, detail I've had in 27 years. God showed me these letters, and I'm going to release it today. This is an update on the uh, Washington, D.C. earthquake prophecy fulfilled. I give God the praise and glory and honor. Open your spiritual eyes today, YouTubers in the Lord's army. Open uh, your uh, spiritual uh, mind today and, and get this. let this new uh, revelation soak in in uh, your mind of Christ for God's glory. <clears throat> Washington, D.C. earthquake is God's judgment for President Obama's 1967 Israel's border plan for the Palestinian state. The God of Israel is in numbers. 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 7 equals 23. The judgment earthquake happened on August the 23rd. It was located 38 miles from Richmond, Virginia. 3 plus 8 equals 11, which is 2011. It was a 5.9 earthquake, which is 5 plus 9 equals 14, which means deliverance from the God of Israel. Also, 14 means May the 14th. The Washington Monument has a four-foot crack at the top of it. Four feet is 48, which means 1948. The Judgment Earthquake means May the 14th, 1948, is the birth of the State of Israel. The Washington Monument is our sovereignty for the USA. President Obama has put cracks in his rose Sovereignty for the Palestinian state. President Obama's Mason-Dixon line democracy is dividing the USA in half. Richmond, Virginia is where Patrick Henry gave his Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech in 1775. Also, Richmond, Virginia was the capital of the Confederate States of America. Muslim Obama is dividing the USA over his 21st century Civil War Muslim agenda. President Obama's earthquake fault line starts in Washington, D.C. and runs all over a divided nation. Also, National, National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. has destruction, which is the nation's house of prayer for the USA. President Obama is destroying the Christian in the USA for the New World Order. This was a Bible prophecy earthquake to open the people's eyes in the USA, God give me this masterpiece from the throne of heaven on August the 28th, 2011 in 30 minutes. <clears throat> and I'm releasing it today. <clears throat> I'm releasing it to North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. I release it in Jesus' holy name. Send it forth. Digest it. Chew on that spiritual food. Understand this new relation for the glory be to God. That is the just as simple as that could be. God is in numbers. That's God's prophetic masterpiece. And I thank you in Jesus' holy name. <clears throat> I love you all today. Me and Betty love you. Pray for the least of Brethren Church in Pinckneyville, Illinois. We'll be praying for you. I got my uh, uh, Christian threads on today. Uh, the battle of the Lord, victory, Jesus. We're going to win. We, we're going to win in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I put my fist to you, devil. We're going to give you a black eye. We're going to gum you to death for the glory be to God. We have victory in Jesus. You battlers out there in the Lord's army, you spiritual prayer warriors, keep praying, keep fasting. The raiment of God keeps marching on in Zion to the beautiful city of God in the USA. Thank God for his raiment. He has it in the USA. For God's glory, thank you, Jesus. And today, what a better way to end this. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, say this prayer with me. And it will be your greatest decision in your life when you accept Jesus Christ. What a better day to accept Him on 9, 1, 11, 11. It's been 10 years since the terrible tragedy in New York City and Washington, D.C. And in the field over there in Pennsylvania. What a better day to be a memorial for the loved ones that lost their life, that died martyrs' death. What a better day to accept Jesus Christ on today on 9-11-11. Say this prayer with me. 
Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, uh, my name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer, Jesus Christ, just saved your soul. Heaven will be your home when you die someday. And Jesus returning soon. There's not much time left. These are the last days, perilous times. Right to George and Betty's channel on YouTube. We thank Jesus, the Savior, the Messiah, for YouTube putting our videos on to shake the nations for the glory of God in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, and the Far East. I mean, Betty, love you today. We love you in Jesus forever and ever. May the many blessings of Jesus bless you today. We pray the many blessings of Jesus over you today. Hundredfold blessings, King Solomon blessings, Abraham blessings, Jehoshaphat blessings. Blessings of God. Let it pour over you from the crown of your head to the soles of feet. Let God's presence reign on you today. Let his Jesus anointing, let the Holy Ghost and fire come down on you. For the glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. This is your memorial today. I'm dedicated to you, God. Your 9-1-1-2011 memorial. And many people will be saved today. Comment on George and Betty Kelly's channel on YouTube. Email us. For God's glory. We love you all. But most important, remember, Jesus loves you. Jesus is the Lord. And Jesus is still in control. The whole world is in his hand. The whole wide world, God holds in his hand. And Jesus. And everything's going to be okay. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. And hallelujah. Everything that hath breath, praise his holy name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah is the only word that's written the same in all language. And hallelujah means praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.